Hello, my lovely Sagis. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to your weekly reading, second week in November. And of course, the week when we have a full moon in Taurus, as well as a full lunar eclipse, which brings quite a high vibration energy. Many, many Sagis, you might feel a little um, weird, awkward, or even very energized at this time. And as I said, for others, Zodiacs, don't forget to put your manifestations out there. It's a peak time for those, especially at this time, is a great time to put those manifestations regard your work, finance, home-wise, even love. As you know, Taurus is ruled by Venus. On the other hand here, when we have the lunar eclipse, there's a lot of shifts that might be very hard to, to control them. As well, the full moons are great for manifestation, but also great for release. And since we are in Scorpio season, releasing those dead ends, dead roots, dead leaves, dead things we don't need. So Sagis, general energy for the second week in November, still in Scorpio season. Let's see what we have for you. And what are those blessings we need to hear at this time? Your card, the Knight of Wands, underneath we have Seven of Swords. Four of Wands, Strength, King of Pentacles. Three of Cups and the Hangman. Okay, so it seems here that something here is not yet coming or it's a little delayed or comes with some kind of delay. Could be a situation regards your home, could be a situation regards your work, but it seems here you you are quite in tune with this, Sag. But I feel also there is somebody here that probably is not great or it's working against you because the hangman here, let's clarify really quick, six of wine, chariot, and the world. Look at this. Three, four major arcana right away. So whatever here needs to come to you will come, but probably bigger than you ever think. So whomever here tries certain things behind your back or you name it, okay, or tries to get away with certain things. It actually makes you a favor. Yes, certain things here comes to you a little delayed. But I feel here is kind of giving you a favor, an opening. And I'll give you an example. If someone here at your work, if someone talks behind your back and bad stuff and things like that, actually your boss gives you the benefit of doubt. They give you that bonus. Even somebody is throwing garbage for you or on you. And yes, might be, you know, an extensive review regards whatever you do. And then to find out that actually, no, you didn't do anything wrong and you're actually doing the right thing and even better. So whatever here, someone here tries, gives you more power then takes power. So if somebody is over there, try to work against you, let them do their thing because that only benefits you. That only gives you more energy. And actually gives you, for some of you work-wise, you will celebrate even. Money-wise are increasing. There is an increase of finance here as well as well a promotion great one because six of wands chariot and the world speaks of you are moving forward to the next level 
to a new chapter in your life. So my lovely Sag, let them do whatever they want to do because again, you know, you can go through anything out there. You know how grounded you are. Okay? As well, whoever tries to hurt you or do something here for you, actually they lift you up a little bit. As I always say, the universe always, always will give back. The three of cups here, ten of pentacles, emperor, and ace of pentacles. So whatever it's here and whoever pretends only gives you the best. Because I feel here for those of you, especially who do work for a big company, you do have a new beginning. Yes, coming in slow, coming in delay, but I feel here, whatever is here, gives you more. So bring it on, loves, bring it on. Looks a beautiful week. And I feel here some Sagis are quite in a great favorable energy. It's kind of like for some of you it's like couldn't be better. And also for some of you, if you felt in a stagnant energy, whatever that stagnation was, as you see here, this four of wands, which is the timing card within four weeks from now, watch how the things are moving. And I feel here for many, many of you who are, who are really feeling in a, in one of a kind of place. Now they got it. King of Pentacles here. Look at you. The Wheel of Fortune. So, Sagis, you are become unbelievable awesome the wheel of fortune with the king of pentacles very strongly speaks of finances are on the way to you darlings keep doing what you do and most likely stay in your power stay in your power because the universe is telling you i got you you are on the right place at the right time and you are moving into the right direction. Look at this major arcanas here, loves. No more stagnation. For some of you, you were whatever was there planted. Now it's growing and you know, like a bamboo, gotta stay underneath quite a while and when it's jumping and start growing it's growing incredible so for some of you yes for those of you who are postpone something for example you postpone a trip you got that trip you wanted a vacation you most likely will be able to make or go towards this vacation. So whatever here was postponed this week is just the beginning. And Sag, that's coming more as we're moving into your season. Let's see. One of the best advices for my beautiful Sagis here for this particular week. Sagis, let's see. Nine of Swords, Page of Pentacles, The Devil, and the Sun. And underneath we have Four of Swords. So your advice is don't stress out. Don't stress out, loves, because I feel here 
there is something new that is coming here and will give you much more. Sun in Capricorn. Sun in Capricorn, we are having going the 20th, 20, 20th of December. But I feel here, as you know, the, the Capricorn is considered the, the hardworking zodiac sign. And I feel here your hard work, the, those teeny tiny steps will bring you a renewal. So whatever here you've been working and stressing, now is the time. Well, what you need to do is take a little time for yourself. Because Four of Swords speaks of healing, time for yourself, and it's time for you to enjoy whatever comes in. Because look at this tower here after the sun, Three of Pentacles. It's kind of like suddenly something here comes to you and you you kind of not knowing. It's like I tried there. So something here will, will quite surprise you for whatever it's on the way. And let's see here one advice from the oracles. Come to the edge. Underneath we have thinker. Breathe. Yeah, that's the breathe energy here with the four of swords. And orphaned. And the tribe. You know. And look at here, the serendipity here, energy. So from, um, from a situation here that really felt ugly to something here that you, you couldn't imagine till the moment when you'll have it, when you'll see it. And look at this clover here. But I feel here for some of you, you you could try to take a risk into some kind of thing where you would like to take a risk. And, you know, come to the edge energy, speaking, being courageous. Overcome those fear where what couldn't work. For some of you, it's just like, why this person talks this? Why this person do this? Or whatever. But you're not giving up doing you it's kind of like anyway i will do me because i know who i am and that's the courage that is the confidence you needed but yes with the war for the energy here speaks of i feel bad but not for me but for them being so low so breathe energy here very strongly speaks of Sometimes the thing's not going the best, but you got to do the best for you. And the tribe here is like you, you will know who are there for you and who is not. So embrace this energy, loves. Look at here, a thinker, and the next card we have, new life. So know that something here, it's, it's brewing for some sages or for many, many of you. Great week, Sagis. Take your time, pat yourself, and enjoy this new chapter in your life. Love and light loves, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. And you know what to do. See ya. Bye for now.